Good morning, everybody. What we just saw is the Fossa waterfall. It's one of the widest and tallest in the island. In the island, and when it rains, it can reach like 30 meters wide. What we saw is just part of it. Look at this view. We are in the town of Tujernavik and we are going to do a hike. The hike that we're going to do is about three hours, one way and three hours back. And we're supposed to see some black sand beaches. I think one is right here in Tujernavik and the other one will be at the end of the hike. That other one, it's called... Uh, it's on Sakasun. On... close to the Sakasun beach, I believe, or something like that. Or close to the Polurin waterfall. I'm still not sure. I need to get there first. I don't know if I'm going to do it. It will depend on my... Uh, on how I feel after the end of the hike. It's three hours hike, then it will be one hour to get to that beach, and then it means four hours to get back to the parking. This is the only place where you get the toilet, I believe. Maybe you have a small hut in the other part. Let's take a look here. Okay, this is the hiking route that we are going to do. We are here, and we have to go this way. And the level is between easy and medium. Seems that there are expert, even expert levels. Not in this case, but there might be. I believe that when you're challenging an expert, you already need uh, extra gear. This is one of the oldest villages in in the Faroe. Okay, so this one is the easy one. We are not going to do this one. We are going to do this other one, which is the one that connects the Saxon uh, village. That's what we want to do. This is one of the highlights and something that everybody does. So I'll get my stuff from the car and we can get going. Okay. Got my stuff, let's take a look at the beach, at the black sand beach, and then we can continue. I was looking that there are surf lessons here. That's something that I have pending. I wanted to do it in Brazil, but didn't get the chance. Oh, it's actually black. Look at this. It's actually black. Must be from volcanic ashes, or at least that that's what I hear. Probably, maybe it has different sources, I don't know. Maybe it's just a different type of rock. And here is more whitish. Or maybe it's just sand. Yeah, it's a mix of shells. Shells and sand. This place is incredible. You feel so little. All this is water coming from the mountains and going to the sea. Probably this, probably this is drinkable water. Maybe if you boil it, you can drink it.
this is still sweet water that's coming from the mountains maybe we can touch the seawater a bit over there let's give it a try Yeah, that's salty water. Okay, let's continue because we have a long, a long day. We have a tight schedule, so better get going. I just washed my hands in that water and it's really cold my hands now are red and f it's freezing one thing that many people advise in those uh, travel guides is to take a to make to take a swim in the sea but if i believe it must be really cold cold as when you get in it takes your breath away so we will cross the village first and then we'll make a left and the hiking will begin. So I already got the old trails up and I already have the the hiking route. It's this one here. And since it's a moderate difficulty, I'd rather be ready. Um, by the way, this town has five highlights. One is the Black Sand Beach. The second one is this church. On my back, there are some biking uh, graves. And then you have the hiking trail, the easy one, that goes to the right. And the medium difficulty hiking trail, the one that we are going to do, that it's on the left. We are going to start with that one. And... Well, actually, that's the one we are going to do. We're not going to do both. We are just going to do the medium difficulty one. This town is really nice. I'll make some photos. Okay, so to give you an idea, we're going to start here and we're going to go all the way here. Here is a waterfall. There's a small town which basically has only three houses. One of them is a toilet and there's nothing else. From here we can go a bit further and go to the other Black Sand Beach. I don't think we will do that. Depends on how tired we are when we get here. So probably we'll stay here for a while and then we'll have to go back. And so it begins. I guess we have to follow these sticks. As you can see it's going to be rustic. And we will see a lot of uh, mud, or maybe not a lot, but we are going to get some mud. I can already feel my feet getting um, buried by the mud. So far, so good. There are some parts that are a bit moody, but if you careful, uh, find the place where you want to put your feet you will be fine sometimes you have to walk in grass and sometimes you have rocks and sometimes you have water mood and a small stream here uh, we have to be a bit more careful and that's it here we are just going to be walking on water, it seems. Or maybe not. It looks like there are some gravel there. And despite the water, we're able to step there.
this is going to be an interesting one I wonder how would you do it if this is getting like a really yeah like a bigger flow of water I'm trying to be careful because I don't know if the rocks can be slippery and of course we don't want to be down there there's a stick, that means we are in the right direction Clearly, this is not the way I think we took the wrong path There was some gate And yeah, I completely ignore it that's a gate, right there I really thought it was impossible to go that way You basically need uh, like mountain climbing equipment to go there And this is another kind of gate system it's kind of, You kind of have to lift it, lift it I'm glad that some people make these kind of milestones because they lead you the way I was about to take down there but I saw that it was getting too close to the hill, to the cliff and I said no, that's, that's not possible, this path is advice even for kids so I wouldn't think that they want you to go right close to the edge, to the cliff so yeah, look for the milestones it's getting really warm to give you an idea, there's the town where we started and at this point we haven't done even 10% of the total hike We are just barely starting Four milestones here And There I'm going to contribute to I'm going to grab this one And this means that Lucas was here And now I'm part of the milestone Let's see if we can get a bit closer here Get a view, great It only took me 40 minutes to get here Maybe tomorrow I'm going to finish the hike Okay, I better get going and stop recording because Yeah, I'm literally going to make it tomorrow I should mention that actually those are not milestones but They are called cranes And it's basically that a pillar made of stone rocks and they are used to uh, mark different spots I guess mark this path look at this we're surrounded by rocks streams sheep grass and nothing else and the sea down there and that's all you can see I think we might have reached the top could be here's the milestone the crane number 57 in case you don't see the cranes you can see for those blue sticks you can see that they have the pile of rocks there at them it looks a bit like an unusual place but I guess they are here for the for that grass that they are eating it's like they have camouflage you can barely see the difference between them and the rocks if they would be completely still you wouldn't notice them see how the fog is starting to cover us at this pace in a few minutes nothing will be visible that's the tallest point <sighs> fucking wind that's the tallest point 
we are almost there that's and that's almost the half the trail and uh, but i wanted to show you this look at this the color of this grass i think it's a mixture of grass with some um mold that's how you call it that uh, green thing that grows in stones like the one that you see there and that's why it looks like that and it's I think it's a bit of a trap because I put my feet here and it's sinking yeah fuck We're almost at the top and from there it should be all downhill The view is breathtaking This is crane number 30 That means that we are 29 to reach the end of the trail <sighs> Although they don't look that to be that separate Let's see This is the view from the other side I was fearing that everything would be incredible foggy but no the view is impressive Sorry to disturb you, I just want to take a photo Oh wow This is amazing We were up there before Descending hasn't been that bad The path is quite alright As far as I know we go a bit down then we go a bit up And then it's all the way down for a moment I thought okay I will get the I will go back, I get the car, I go to the other city and I hike back, but yeah, I, I dropped the idea. I want to enjoy the sun while I have it. Um and it's also warming up a bit. I also had lunch so I feel a bit better, I feel energized. So yeah, I decided to just continue. And yeah, looks looks easy for now. I think the other side was uh, a bit harder. Maybe if you're going down, it's easier, but the way up was uh, was tough. Uh, I will be able to say, to tell you when I'm doing the other way around. We need to get to the city first. Well, I'm, I'm still calling it a city, but it's not a city. It's just uh, three houses. I don't even know how to call that. I don't think it's a village, a city. It's nothing, it's just three houses. So the idea is to get to those three houses, uh, maybe make a toilet break, enjoy the view. I'll see if I'm still in the mood to go to the waterfall and the other um, Black Sun Beach because from the town it's like one more hour. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. And then we, have, we are supposed to go back from that village to the, the town here where we were before so it's going to be again uh, five six hours hiking I was checking my watch and it took us about two hours and a half to get to the uh, highest point so maybe it's going to be another two hours and a half we're making a bit of a better time that all trails suggested all trails was saying that's going to take me about six hours uh, six hours and a half 
so yeah a bit better than I expected so yeah I hope I can keep up I, I hope I can keep the pace it's a becoming an issue when you get a trail like this full of mud and then you need to start looking for alternative path the reason I have to do that is because it's really slippery and as you can see my shoes are not that thick or that high so if I put my feet on the mud then I will get if it's deep I will get covered maybe until up to this point or more The path went down here, so we are still on track. But the only downside is that it's getting foggier and foggier. So I'm trying to rush, especially with the fog, you don't see very well where you're going. This one is number four, but it doesn't look like I'm almost done with it. Look at this view, we almost made it. That's a town of three houses and there you have the black sand beach and I believe the waterfall must be kind of on the right side. Maybe we can see it from the other side. Now the next goal is to reach the town, uh, use the toilet, maybe I can buy or get some fresh water because my bottle is almost empty and then we will have to head back do the same that we did start all the hike up and then down and despite this uh, dense fog down there it looks clean look how beautiful it is this was totally worth it And I forgot to mention that this hike uh, was free, no, no entrance. Now that, now that I've done a few hikes here, uh, I realized that the first one, the one that you we went to the lighthouse, was such a big scam. We paid a lot of money and, and you don't get any value from it. This is way nicer. I mean, the, the trail is not that friendly, but the other one, you pay a lot of money and no one assures you that the trail is going to be in good uh, shape. Um, they should put some gravel or some rocks in it so people can, can walk. I mean, this one, you're not paying anything and no one is doing anything about the trail. But yeah, I mean, no one is charging you. The other one, they are charging you a lot of money and you don't get nothing in return. So yeah, this one is definitely the highlight and the one that everybody should do. Well, if you if you like hiking, of course. I think if you don't like hiking, you shouldn't come to the far away. This is basically a hike paradise. I'm realizing that my iPhone makes way better video than the GoPro. Different purpose, I know, but the quality is just so different. Oh, and by the way, that's the Black Sand Beach and that's the Ballerine Waterfall. So from here we kind of see everything that we were supposed to see. And over there, there's the church, which is supposed to be another highlight. I don't think I have told you anything about the weather, but we started the day with wind and it was a bit chilly, around 10 degrees. And now we are at 11 degrees, but the sun is out, so it's really, it's really warm, especially because there's no wind. As soon as you get wind, it's, uh, it feels like polar, uh, cold wind. It's really, really cold. 
and if you are not wearing a jacket you really have to put something on but as it is now i could be walking with my t-shirt without any coat and it would be perfect last time i checked was about two kilometers left i guess now it's about one more or less there's the, the gate we made it basically it says that you are not allowed to leave the path ah, that's it Probably I can get uh, more than just a toilet and nothing else. Probably I can buy even something to drink and something to eat. I see some some people over there. Probably they are selling something. Uh, I guess I can chill for a bit and then I'll head back. It's going to be interesting after this long walk. And there's another waterfall. Someone told me that the town had more waterfalls than people. That could probably be true. But that there are three houses, that's not true at all. Uh, and of course, it couldn't be that easy. God damn it. I might go here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I can't go that way. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but look, it seems that everybody did that. It's just impossible to go that way. Look, there's no way. You will see better when we are down, down there. You see, it's merely steps of dirt and mud that wasn't on any blog there's of course a store selling some stuff okay so in the three houses place there's a bit more there's a toilet there's a museum and there's a kiosk they don't have that many things for example they don't have bottled water but they sell drinks and some snacks even coffee and they told me that there's a tap here in the bathroom where i can get water i hope the guy understood that i want drinkable water so i'm thinking that maybe i had enough this last part was really hard and going up is not going to get any easier so I'm thinking that maybe if I can talk to someone that could take us back to the to the starting town maybe someone is going there maybe we can get to the Jornovic and pick up the car I know what's the odds of someone going there but yeah maybe someone would like to help us uh, yeah we rely on people's willingness at this point because yeah going back it's going to be tough so we were over there and someone took us here but i don't know if we are going to be able to find another ride we have to keep asking people so yeah i think the idea will be to just hide the way back to get the car because we can't find anyone that's going to take us there so basically the only thing we did so far was just go backwards because this town is one kilometer farther than where we were before so yeah but yeah i, I prefer to keep get get going because right now there's no fog there's no wind it's not cold there's sun it's it's, it's warm it's hot so i want to make the most of the daylight if i stay there waiting for someone to to go to the to the beach where we were before then i might spend a lot of hours and if i can't find anyone then it's going to get later 
and yeah and the late it gets it's hard to get someone to take you there we were also considering going to one of the intermediate towns but the problem is that once you get to those towns it's harder to find someone to to pick you up one thing is to stop people that's going to the parking lot and be able to talk to them and a way different thing is to be next to the road and expecting someone to to stop uh, for you and we are right on the other side we were there from here is about one kilometer I guess the lesson is that if you're going to do a six kilometers hike be ready to go back especially when there's there's not public transport at the end at the other side I knew what I was signing for when I decided to do the hike so I'll just hike my way back and here we go again We'll have to climb, we'll have to climb this fucking thing and then start with the hike. I can't believe I did all that. I think I came all that way from that side. Oh yeah, of course, because we were closer to the waterfall. All right, let's do it. Most noticeable change since we went down is that the mud is a bit drier because of the sun but I'm already tired ah, this is going to be a beach for fuck's sakes okay this is going to be your last view because I really need to speed up feels a bit easier once you've done it before at least you know where to take which rocks you can use I'm taking basically the same path just the way the, on the opposite way I'm still trying to be careful especially on rocks but I hope this to be mostly the same just trace back my steps as you can see the weather is shifting fast over there is mostly clouds and it's getting a bit more chilly now so we're trying to we should try to hurry up so far i feel like it's been a bit easier than today the mud is a bit drier it it feels like the currents of water are a bit maybe a bit less so there are some challenging parts but so far we have made some nice progress <sighs> until now oh over there i think that if i have to give an advice i would start the hike from this side um, and go to the other side hiking and if you have a someone to hike with and you both can drive and you don't care about doing it together your friend can drop you here he can or she can go to the other side and start the hike you exchange the car keys in the middle of the way and then the first person and then when one of you is done pick up the the other one that way you don't have to hike the both ways you will be doing just one that could be an idea if you don't want to do six kilometers one way six kilometers the other way in my case i didn't have a, a choice i don't have anyone else that could try me so yeah but if you have that possibility if you both are driving and you don't care about taking photos and you are just here for the sport and the fun then you can do that second hill 
check. There's one more. We have to go through this field. We have to hike one more hill and then we will uh, we will be at the top where I had lunch. And from there it's all hill downhill. Exactly half past one hour and we already hike the hills. Now it should be a bit more flat. We have that hill there, but I think the worst half passed so far. Yeah, they already passed. Despite the, the hills, it still feels a bit easier than the way than the way here. It's still it's like the mud, the mud dry. It's like it gives you more options. It's it's weird. I, it feels like you know they they are far, but still they they look big. I don't know if it's a visual effect or I'm just already hallucinating because of how tired I am. I believe we must get to the top over there. I think you might be able to see the trail there. Oh, I'm gonna point him right. Maybe like I don't I don't know if it's visible. But yeah, it's still a long way to go. I don't know if you can see the trail I was trying to show you, but I completely fail at it. And uh, there you can see it. There, right in the middle and then to the left. And we are here and we are back to the spot. You probably remember it. It's this simple, incredible. Truly beautiful. So now we'll get there to the top and we will see the other side. So soon we will do the last hike, the last hike up. All my batteries are running low, including my own battery, so I hope I can finish this quickly. The first time it took me two hours and a half to get to the top, and so far I'm at 84 minutes, 85 minutes. So I might get it done a bit faster, but let's see. Let's see how it is from here to, to the top. I remember some challenging parts when going down. So let's see. I almost made it. <sighs> Holy shit. And it took me one hour, 36 minutes. One hour shorter, not bad. Knowing the path, makes a difference and the soil being drier also helps a lot the wind up here is insane and now you can look all around without the, the fog this is great Now we have to go down, but we made it. We're just halfway there. Maybe with a bit of luck, one more hour and I will be at the car. I really need to rest. Now that I have the full view, this is amazing. Today was a bit foggy if you remember and you couldn't see everything but now you can appreciate this 360. Look how, how funny how they jump on the rocks. <laughs> 
I see that many times in movies, but never in real life. Look at them. <laughs> Just a bit more. There you can see the roadway, that, the one that we took today. And the town is down there. You cannot see it, but yeah, a bit more. We are really, really close. Look at that. We are back at 57. This was the spot where I knew what that meant. And that means that we are really close. There's the beach. That's where we all, everything began. And finally, we can see the town again. And there's the door. Ah, I can't believe it. I'm so fucking happy. Seeing these doors is always a good sign. I'm getting closer and closer. Ah, fuck yeah. There's the town. Probably less than one kilometer away. And I hope the car is still there. I can't believe I made it. I will be able to rest. I really need a shower. I have a nice meal. And something fresh to drink. I will give you my final time uh, soon. But I calculate in about around um, three hours. So I managed to do it at least one hour sooner, one hour and a half sooner. But I'll check the, the time on my watch and I will let you know. It's 7 p.m. sharp. All right, incredible. I made it in two hours 40. So I guess the vlogs are right. You can do it in two hours 30. But I guess those guys don't stop ever to rest or anything. And I stopped for a bit a few times. But yeah, pretty cool. I was able to drop my time for uh, two hours. Yeah, two hours. Nice, now I can rest.